Second and 14, Purdy to throw again. Zips one incomplete. Wanted Juwan Johnson with a coverage coming from Patrick Peterson. The ageless Patrick Peterson in his 13th NFL year. Now back to McCaffrey. Looks to cut it against the grain. Can't get away from Marcus Golden making his Steelers debut. It was a flutterer that might have been tipped at the line, or at least his arm was hit as Watt got in there. We're going to have Colton McKivitt gets inside, and there's something very similar to what we saw last year in the NFC Championship game. They confirm that Delpit did secure that ball going to the ground. Now Watson is brought down by Ogunjobi. We got action in Pittsburgh, a loss of six. Well, they're trying to lock up one-on-one, -on -one, and when you do that, whether it's T.J. Watt or Ogunjobi inside, somebody's got to win, and Ogunjobi does. Watson lets it fly, and it's incomplete out of bounds for Elijah Moore. And pressure by Ogunjobi, former third-round pick by the Browns. Good possession for Larry Ogunjobi. He's worked both times when he was able to get up the field against Wyatt Teller, a really good player himself. Watson got it, barely. Pittsburgh has challenged the ruling on the field that the runner made the line to gain. That play is under further review. You see Montrevious Adams punch the ball out. How was your day? It was nice, thanks. Good. I had a nice little walk around <laughs> Pittsburgh earlier this morning. Got some coffee. Yeah. You know, when they, when they spend that much time, they're trying to look at that possession and who comes out with that football. It, well, they know something we don't because the offense for the Steelers is out there. The Browns' defense is out there. The Cleveland runner fumbled the ball. It was recovered by Pittsburgh number 99 at the 42-yard line. It'll be Pittsburgh's ball. We put 22 seconds on the clock. There'll be 22 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Well, there you go. They're saying that the ball was not recovered by Watson and that Ogan Joby got the fumble. And therefore, it doesn't matter where the ball is placed down. It's Pittsburgh's ball. And Levi Wallace, he, he was in coverage, did a good job as well. Just great execution. Nothing for Jerome Ford. Handoff goes to Ford. Made him going to his his second and his third calls. They're able to stay on schedule, and that's why they've been successful. It falls incomplete. Good pressure, good push. Now Bobby Slowick wants to pick up the tempo here with this offense. They go back to the ground game with Pierce as he picks up a couple. As that relationship between play caller and quarterback continues. Some more. Second and ten. Jackson dump off. Hill. Beautiful cut. Loses the ball. The fumble by Hill, the recovery by Pittsburgh. So take a look here, Larry Ogunjobi, and just stay with him through the play. Rushes the passer, now he retraces and continues to hustle downfield and creates the punch out downfield to get Pittsburgh life. That's the hustle that you have to have. That's the effort you need in order to keep yourself in the game and hopefully start a comeback. The punch out, Ogunjobi, the Steelers fans waiting for some kind of splash play and they get it on defense.